Good morning, ladies. It's day one of the Morning Miracles Challenge. It's a little cold in the house, that's why I'm wearing my house coat. I'm here with Ava Grace. Where is she? There she is. And the light that we have on our faces. You've got it, Sue. Let me just make sure you can get a load of how God is showing off this morning. The sun has not crested the mountains yet. These are the Sangre de Cristos mountains, which are, um, it's a beautiful mountain range here in New Mexico, just outside of Santa Fe. And Sangre de Cristos, if you don't know, means blood of Christ. And we've got some music going on in the background here. Some of my favorite to listen to. It's um, by this guy named Dappy Keys on Sneezes here on YouTube. It's just, it shows you some scripture. listen to in the morning when I pray and when I'm alone um, and just want to keep it nice and um, calm and focus my attentions on the Lord and the amazing things he's doing and is going to do and has done and I think Ava has something to say she says good morning ladies <laughs> Good morning. It's day one of the Morning Miracles Challenge. So I wanted to share my sunrise with you. I wanted to ask, how's it going? How was your first day? Was it good? Do you love the group you're in? Tell me what group you're in. Um, I decided uh, that I would kind of try to share more of my own routine with you ladies. And so, one of the things that I really wanted to share with you that's new for me is I've really changed up how I do visualizations. I actually do them throughout the day. I know that sounds really weird, but let me explain. So, in the morning, when you are spending this special time with the Lord, I think it's really good to bring up... Um, things with him, ask him what you could be visualizing. Um, I like to visualize uh, a scenario in my day that I think will be challenging and imagine myself doing it uh, in a way that really honors the Lord. And now I've added something new. You know, during the day and throughout the day, I'll occasionally have worried thoughts I'll have a thought that comes up that seems to be out of nowhere, kind of like a fiery dart. Um, I'll imagine myself tripping as I enter a room. I'll imagine myself getting in a car accident. Does this ever happen to you? I asked my husband this last night. I was like, hey, this might sound weird, but do you ever like just imagine that something terrible is gonna happen to you? And he's like, oh my gosh, all the time, it just, they come out of nowhere. And um, he told me, you know, there are some people that it happens to all the time, like throughout the day, these worried imaginings. And I thought to myself, you know what? I need to be aggressively against that in my mind. So for the past several days, every time I have one of these worried thoughts or I imagine something terrible happening or maybe not even that terrible, but an outcome that I do not want, like tripping and falling and um, or something like that. I then bring it up to the Lord and bring it into submission to Christ. I pray in that moment. I say, Lord, I don't know where that came from, but will you please hunt it down? I don't want that in my mind. I don't want thoughts like that in my mind. And I'll think of the exact opposite of that. So 
Instead of tripping, I imagine myself walking gracefully into a room. Yeah, Ava likes this idea. Instead of getting into some accident, I imagine myself arriving safely at my destination. And so for everything that the enemy tries to put into my mind, even the smallest of things, even the smallest tripping and getting embarrassed, I turn it around, I bring it to God, and I imagine a much better outcome. And that's one of the things I've been doing recently, recently, recently. And it's powerful. Maybe the word powerful isn't quite right, but empowering is the word I'm looking for. It's empowering to see what the enemy is trying to do and immediately form a very potent counterattack, even on the smallest of things. I need to say hi to my baby. She's like, this, the sunrise is beautiful, but what about me? You're also very beautiful, and I love you, and I'm grateful for you. Every morning, um, Ava and I, when I change her diaper, <laughs> Well, this is like at 2 a.m., mind you. I say, are we grateful for a new day? And she'll normally make a little sound. She stretches. Do you have a minimum exercise for your day? I do. My minimum exercise of the day is stretching. At minimum, I must stretch. Because why? Ava stretches. <laughs> She stretches nice and big every morning. And um, my dog stretches. <laughs> you know, do you have a pet at home? Tell me in the comments. Do you have a pet at home? Do you see how much they stretch? They stretch real good. It's my minimum exercise. And then if I go a little further than that, I'll do nice big arm circles. That gets my circulation flowing. Anyway, I hope these tips have been helpful for you. I'd love to know some of your tips. Do you have any special ways you do visualization that have been helping you? How about exercise? These are the two areas that you ladies have told me are the most challenging for you. So as the sun rises over the sangre de Christos, I hope that you ladies have a very blessed day. I hope that you're already enjoying this a lot. And I hope that um, your leaders are going to be a blessing to you. In fact, I know they will. Local time is 7 a.m. And that means that the sun is going to crest that within the next five minutes. I'm gonna get off the video and tend to my little love and I'll send you a picture in the comments of what I'm seeing. Thanks for joining me. See you day two. Bye, ladies.